Hey, John here again. So, listen, this is a, a MTD yard machine. Uh, puts it out. It's uh, 10 horsepower to Kumsa. Uh It doesn't matter the manufacturer, yard machine, to Toro, actually, there's a Toro there, uh, Troy Bill, it doesn't matter. What I'm interested in is this Tecumseh here. Uh, so, the customer says that this thing is running real rough. No matter what he does, it, you know, he used to be able to choke it a little bit or it clear up and blah, blah, blah. So, Technically, you could take this uh, cover off, take the carburetor, carburetor off, clean everything up. Everything will probably be hunky dory. But this uh, particular carburetor is a fixed uh, high speed jet, and there's only so much adjusting you can do on them. And uh, you can clean them up, and sometimes it doesn't do the trick. It still runs rough, or what's called hunting. Uh, so I got a remedy how to, how to adjust a fixed, uh, a fixed, car, a fixed jet carburetor and uh, it's real simple to do. I'll show you how to adjust this in a matter of minutes. Uh, I'm not going to start this thing up because I just, uh, I just, I just pulled it in. I, I, I had it outside. It does run rough. Uh, there are no adjustments to the high speed. Like I said, you could take the carburetor part. You can, you can clean things up. You can, uh, you can, I could probably get it running right, but, or right enough, but sometimes, like I said, you can't really get it exactly smooth and it does hunt a little until it's under a load. So let me show you what to do in this case and it'll save you a lot of time and really save you a lot of money. If you took this to a shop and tried to have this adjusted and if it's not, you know, if, if they can't do it, you know, I don't know, shops get from $40 to $70 an hour and uh, sometimes, like I said, you can't, you can't get it 100%. But I'm gonna show you how to do it 100% every time for uh, $13, <laughs> literally $13. So stand by, let me take this uh, cover off and get this carburetor off. All right, after you get the cover off, well, I can already see somebody's been in here. This uh, muffler looks new, but um, this bolt ain't even torqued down. I just put a wrench on it and it's, uh, it's not moving, so I ain't busting that for the guy. <laughs> Anyways, I feel the best way to do it is uh, take a 30 Torx and uh, remove this uh, intake. And uh, it's easier than taking the carburetor apart here because you can't really get to the, uh, you know, this screw on the other side here. It's, it's tricky. So uh, I just remove these torques. Like I said, they're normally a torque 30. <coughs> and You also need to remove this uh, the fuel lines. There's a, a primer fuel line here, which um, comes out pretty easy. Primer fuel line and a regular fuel line, and I see there's a clamp on that. So like I said, somebody's probably already been in here, but I'll show you how to adjust this fixed carburetor in a second. It'll only take a few seconds. Out of there. Uh, like I said, there's a hose clamp in there. <laughs> Instead of a spring clamp, which I'll put a spring clamp back on there. Or maybe I'll just leave the hose clamp on there. A little bit of gas to get pulled out of here. Just get that hose off. And out of there. Alright, so once that's off, you can uh, disconnect your little Z-bend here. And there you have it. Uh, I'm going to leave the idle. The uh, governor hooked up. I'm worried about that, so it goes on the end here. So there you go. This is a... Uh, oh crap, I just got my hands wet. This is a uh, fixed... Oh yeah, here. Let me go put it on a bench here. I'm spilling gas everywhere. Alright, so I got the intake and a vise, and uh, I'm going to take this carburetor off to show you what I'm talking about. It's usually a 10, or maybe an 11, uh, not here, but it's easier to get to in a Phillips, number 2 Phillips on the bottom. Usually, yeah, if you get enough torque on your screwdriver, you can get that out. Now, I'm not going to clean this carburetor, I'll show you what I'm going to do. 
see how it's a fixed jet, it's fixed high speed jet, and there's no low speed adjustment. This carburetor is uh, basically junk. Yeah, it can be cleaned. You can go in there and clean it up, like I said. Why waste your time? I'll show you what to do here. Oh, somebody, yeah, somebody's definitely been in here. It's got uh, goop in here. That's a no-no. So i got to clean that up now. Not here, but on the, on the intake. So somebody put uh, the gasket with gasket maker. Uh, anyway, so this is your fixed, uh, fixed carburetor, fixed high-speed jet. Still dripping gas. And as you notice here, through this hole, it's a plug. There's no way to adjust it. It's just a plug. So I'm going to show you what I'm going to do with this carburetor, but I do need this, uh, this little rod here. Hold on a second. Let me show you what, how to adjust this sucker. Okay, so here's how to fine tune a fixed jet carburetor. <laughs> That's how you fine tune a fixed jet carburetor. Okay, seriously, why even bother trying to clean this non-adjustable carburetor when it may or may not do the trick? Uh, you know, because you got to take the carburetor off anyways. You might as well just get this $13 carburetor. It's fully adjusted, high speed, low speed. Uh, you can't go wrong. $13? I mean, come on. You slap this puppy on, 10 minutes later, you're good to go. It's that easy, seriously. <laughs> Alright, so all kidding aside, you take uh, this bracket here, transfer it over to the two holes here, yeah, easy stuff. I already took uh, this uh, Z-Bend rod here, that was in the second hole. Just pay attention where everything was at, just transfer everything over. The, the rod has to be transferred, this choke uh, mechanism here, this little uh, deal here has to go on the front here. Just two screws again, one, two, and just one, two. That's just to, uh, that's for the housing on the uh, carburetor, or the carburetor housing. So you just transfer those three things over and put it back on. I'll show you how to adjust this. Let me flip that over. So once you've got everything transferred, it's pretty simple stuff. Uh, the carburetor actually comes with a, a new gasket. That was probably the longest part of this job, is scraping off this old crap that somebody put uh, a gasket maker on. So put your, uh, We'll put it on the correct way. <laughs> put your intake on, and let's go bolt it on the machine. All right. All right. So back over to the machine. This this gasket was actually good. Otherwise, uh, for here, for the intake. Uh, otherwise, I would, you'd have to replace that, but it's actually good. Uh, you want to put your, your rod in first. Stick the rod in. <laughs> Stick it in first. Little Z-bend there. Get that assembled. And, uh, I'm not going to put a spring clamp on this uh, fuel hose. I'm just going to use what they had there. Put your fuel hose on. Tighten it down. Only re reason being is they had a clamp on here. I'm just going to keep it on there. A spring clamp is the original uh, deal, but this one's torque it down to where everything it needs to be. Now this, uh, this little uh, Primer bulb thing. I cut the end off. See how it's a little bit uh, fat on the end. Gets a little bit, you know. If you got if you got something to play with, I clip the end off just so it has a nice, uh, so it doesn't fall off. Put that on the nipple. <laughs> nipple. And there you go. So uh, that's all. A little uh, 30 torch back in there. <coughs> Clamp this sucker down. And this thing will start right up, I guarantee it. Guaranteed. I don't guarantee anything. So get this back in there. Just make sure nothing, uh, your hoses aren't pinching or nothing. Your, uh, your primer bulb hose, primer hose, and your fuel line. Make sure, uh, you know, everything's funky door before you tighten it down. I would imagine the torque is, uh, Right up out there, as much as you can. 
get on that. All right, so everything's tight. Grab that works. All right, so let me take this outside and fire it up. So to do an adjustment, let me. Uh, All right, so I got this tilted upright on the floor, and so it's on the snows. I took the wheel off just so you can see a little better. But this is what I'm talking about. This this is the new carburetor that's adjustable. This is the old carburetor that was uh, on here. Yeah, as you can see, this little uh, little black knob here. It's not. It, it it's there's nothing there. It's just a cap, right? So and in the bottom of this, that's the fixed jet there. There's no adjustment here. As you can see here, there's an adjustment here, and there's also adjustment here where this black knob is. So basically right out of the box, I bet you could just tip this down and it'll start right up. Uh, and there's also an idle adjustment here. Uh, like I said, you don't did from my experience, you don't even have to mess with these. But just in case you do, what you can do is turn just stick a flat base screwdriver in there, turn all these down to uh, till they seat. Then you need a screwdriver on this one. Alright, so that's seat. So then you back them off one and a half turns, both of them. So there's a half, there's one, there's a half. Right? There's a half, there's one, there's a half. That'll get the thing started, and you might not even have to mess with it from there. But when we get it started, I'll have to take it outdoors. When we get it started, then you might have to, uh, on low idle, you know, uh, adjust this low, low speed idle to get it to burn like a kitten. And then the high speed, of course, we'll adjust that uh, if, if, if need be. But let me, uh, let me uh, put the wheel back on. I'm not going to put the cover on right now. We'll get this adjusted if it needs to be. But generally speaking, right out of the box, 10 minutes later, this thing's running running great. These things are uh, junk. I, I still haven't taken this apart yet, but I'm assuming it's probably all gummed up with uh, gel or, you know, who knows what's in there. But these things for $13, come on, why even clean this? It's just, it's just stupid. It takes 10 minutes to put a brand new $13 carburetor on. Why wouldn't you? All right, so <clears throat> I'm going to start it up in here. It's too goddamn cold outside. So, uh, like I said, the, the bottom, I can't see it now. The bottom of the carburetor, I made one and a half turn. I, I tightened it all the way up, took it out one and a half turns, and then this guy, uh, one and a half turns on a new one. I, I drew it all the way down. Screwed it all the way in, backed it off one and a half turns. Again, the way it comes out of the box, it probably worked fine. And uh, I just, uh, I didn't mess with this idle yet. So, I'm expecting this thing to start right up. And I'll adjust it if need be. First thing I would do is uh, put, put this all the way on high. And adjust the high speed first. And then put it on low and adjust the low speed. But if it works without no adjustments, then I ain't gonna mess with it. So right now I'll just put it in the middle. Find more up. too far but that's how you adjust it the uh, it was running fine I was just tr trying to show you you back it off tighten it up whatever you got to do when it starts bogging down a little bit you know back it the other way clear it up 
And that's all there is to it. I just put it back to where it was. Easy peasy. Ten minutes, put a new carburetor on, I gotta put the shield back on and that's it. Way easier than trying to adjust or clean. There's no adjustment on a fixed carburetor, but to clean one of these, take this apart, you know, clean all this up, you would have to, uh, uh, you know, there's no adjustments. You could take this high speed out. You know what I'm looking at here. You could take this high speed out, right? Send the old wire up there, clean everything out, blow everything out, carburetor clean everything, but honestly, uh, why? For $13, just put a new one on. Right out of the box thing works great. Anyways, thanks for watching. Simple stuff. Later.